Hello, today we're going to be reviewing for your 7.4 to 7.6 quiz. Everything in 7.4 is on factoring. There were three different types of factoring problems that we looked at. Factoring using GCF, greatest common factor, the X method, and the slide method. This first question here has us finding the GCF of each polynomial, and we're going to drag and drop the numbers and variables to complete each GCF. For example, if the GCF was 3x to the second, we would put the 3 in the first box and the x to the second in the second box. Remember that when you're finding the GCF of a polynomial, you want to find the GCF of the coefficients, those are the numbers in front of the variables, as well as the GCF of the variables. So in problem A here, I'm going to start by looking at 12 and 30. We're looking for the greatest common factor of the number 12 and the number 30. I think it helps to list out the factor pairs and try to pick the one that has the fewest amount of factors. Here, I guess they both have about the same amount of factors, so I'm just going to look at the smaller number of 12. To multiply to 12, we could do 1 times 12, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. Now in that list, let's find the biggest number that's also a factor of 30. So if we run through starting at 12, 12 is not a factor of 30. If you do 30 divided by 12, you're going to get a decimal. So move down to the next biggest number, which is 6. Well, 30 divided by 6 is 5. So 6 is the greatest common factor of the numbers. So we know it's going to be 6. Now for the variables. Remember that the GCF of the variables has to be how many x's they have in common. So it's always going to be the smallest of the exponents. So with this first one having x to the fourth and the second one having x to the third, we have to take the smaller of the two exponents, which is 3, and that would make the GCF 6x to the third. Let's do the same on this next one. Here we have three coefficients, 14, 42, and 28. I'm going to look at the one with the fewest amount of factors, which is the 14. The only ways to multiply to 14 are 1 times 14 or 2 times 7. Beginning with 14, if you take a calculator and do 42 divided by 14, that's 3. So 14 is a factor of 42. 28 divided by 14 is 2. So this time, the GCF is 14. All of those numbers are divisible by 14. Then for the variables, look at the letters. We have an x to the fifth, an x to the third, and an x. Remember that it's always the smallest exponent for the variable. So here, that would be just the x, and you would pick the x from the choices. So 14x is your greatest common factor.